We welcome you to Wits Wrestling Roundup. We are in the purple mat room of the Ada Bulldogs, a young wrestling program. Jim Wickcamp joining me. Also down, down at the end is Noah Beach, a junior wrestler, and, Aust and Brendan Nichols, I should say. Brandon Nichols, the head coach. Jim, first let's start with our Buffalo Wild Wings Wrestler of the Week. Well, we're going to go on out from the past weekend of Lima Senior, and let's go ahead and talk about a little bit about Corey Ross, and we're going to go ahead and give it to uh, Dylan Hartman out there, who uh, actually walked in there and uh, had a good championship match from what I actually heard, and I was talking to Coach a little bit earlier about. Um, and we're going to give it to Dylan out there, and I'll, I'll stop in at the room out there and sneak in and see Dylan and uh, Coach Shannon out there one day coming up. It's on the way back to Liberty Benton. Yes, sir. We've got practice here later I'll be heading there shortly. Also, uh, want to talk about the WBL matchup, the big one between Defiance and Bath. Defiance wins on Monday night, 32 to 27. Bath was there throughout the whole night, obviously, but Defiance remains unbeaten in the Western Buckeye League. I tell you what, Defiance has turned that program around in about the last two to three years. It's amazing. Um, Coach uh, Murphy has really done a great job walking into there yep. and, and building it up. And I, you know, I was talking to him at the end of the last season. They got a lot of stuff going on with the Burnett training group and things of that nature. But I, I was telling you, I was telling Coach over here, I was, as we were talking off camera, I was honestly getting all kinds of text messages. So Rudis still leave me alone because <laughs> he was the main one. I, so I kind of knew what it was doing and going by the whole night. Yeah. Coach Nichols, new program here at Ada. First, talk about starting the program, coming in the door, and, and how has it gone getting it started? Well, it's been a great experience. Yeah. Uh, we've had a lot of success early on, which makes – some of the shortcomings that we knew were going to come mm -hmm. stand out and be a little more difficult because of our early success. Sure. So, you know, overall, I, I can't complain. Actually, you know, when you have somebody come up and pat you on the back and say, wow, you've improved. As a coach in the room with the guys every day, sometimes you don't see that because right. you, you just see their work ethic daily. When somebody else comes and says that that's when it really, you know, sticks out and gets in your mind how well you're actually doing. You were talking about that, Jim, up at Liberty Benton, just right. getting those positive emails every once in a while. Right, because I just received like I, I just received a couple of positive emails from from um, some some of the parents. So I mean, that, that, let's take it to that area too. When you're starting out, you're not sure what you're getting into. The school don't know what they're getting into. <laughs> Where have you seen that grow with with the young men next over here who got involved as we were talking before in eighth grade? He gets involved, and you know he's a junior now. And I was telling him before he's come a long way about a little bit of the growing pains from the parents and the school not knowing about wrestling and where you're at now? Well, I think a lot of it just comes with the, uh, the, the way we schedule. Our scheduling is a, is a huge challenge for, for the school to understand just bus rides. Right. When does the bus leave? It's not, <laughs> you know, if the match starts at 10 o'clock, it doesn't mean that we're supposed to be there at 10. Mm -hmm. So that's, one of, that's really some of the toughest parts for us wow. is just – knowing when to leave, making sure that we're on, on a schedule of some type, uh, who to reach out to for help. When we need a match real quick, who can you call? You know, inside the building, the reach isn't very far. <laughs> so I've been able to, you know, thankfully know quite a few people in the area. Right. So I can reach out for the school, and as we go, it's been able to build a rapport with other schools to call our AD and our school and ask for us. No, what's it been like for you to start this program at eighth grade? You got, got a chance to see it get off the ground, and, and now as a junior, you're wrestling in it. You're making a big impact for Ada wrestling. What's it like? Uh, I'd say it's a pretty good feeling. Mm. You know, <clears throat> from starting as an eighth grade and watching as the high school team kind of built itself up over the years, it's, act, it's a really great feeling, just growing. Yeah, and seeing that growth and then improvement. I mean, you start, like you said, you start in eighth grade, you know, the, the whole change in the, in the work ethic as, you, as you're getting older and the program's maturing. Talk a little bit about what's coming up. Uh, you, you, I know uh, you guys have the Sally George, correct? You guys got the Sally George coming up. What are you looking to do to ramp yourself up and get yourself ready for that? Then you got leagues, you got sectionals. Uh, I've, got, I've had the pleasure of watching you. I know you don't know me that well, but I've had the pleasure <laughs> of watching you kind of mature and, and becoming one of the areas, you know, uh, nicer upper weight wrestlers. So a little bit about what you're thinking and everything coming up. Well, going back to that growth we were talking about, I can see as the years have gone by, our, the schedule has gotten slightly more difficult as mm -hmm. the years have gone on, mm -hmm. kind of upping up our level to see where we're at in the area. And this Sally George tournament is going to kind of set the bar for where we're at right now, I think. That one over. see how good we are. Over Marion Pleasant, is that correct? Yes. yes. And 
Always a, a good wrestling program there. Uh, no, this is your second time on TV today. You were over at TV 44 this afternoon, part of NWC <laughs> yes, Sportsmanship Day. <laughs> what was that experience like for you? It was really fun. Uh, just meeting some of the other athletes mm. in the area and some of the other people who <clears throat> are kind of leading the area. You know, kind of why they call it the leadership. <laughs> <laughs> they got some pretty good ones yeah. in there. So as say, it was nice meeting those guys. It, they're all really good people. And it was nice to see other leaders in this area. Probably add them on Twitter or talk, talk to them a little bit. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. Coach, you know, kind of the same thing I was talking to him about because, you know, I'm where you were at four or five years ago with your scheduling aspect. Do you, do you expect to – I know a little bit about the Sally George. You, you, you thinking the Sally George is going to tell you where you need to be for leagues and come sectional time? Uh, one of the main reasons that I wanted to go to Sally George is it's an opportunity to see teams that we've never seen. Yeah. We're out of the area. There's not the pressure of there's a sectional seat on the line. There's a conference seat on the line. Mm. It's, it's an opportunity to see where you stack against teams of different divisions, different uh, traditions, just a, a different opportunity. What do I expect to get out of it? Well, we got to be pushed. Uh, I don't want to wait until districts to find out that right. we should have been better at a stand-up. Mm. We need to be better in January and have that opportunity to work and improve and just – we're going to exploit our weaknesses on, and when we go to Sally George, and that's, that's what we need. We have to have that. Who, who are some of the guys that have really impressed you this year, leading this team and also their growth individually as wrestlers? Well, obviously, Noah. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's, he's uh, very consistent with practice. The way he works, his ethic is, is great. He's obviously one of the smartest guys on the team <laughs> and in the school, period. <laughs> so, you know, we have that going for us. Um, Dylan Hanna has really picked up quite a bit this year. He's been more dedicated in the room. Mm -hmm. And uh, Austin Wendell, obviously, the record and yeah. those that he's competed with and just the uh, respect that he's getting from other coaches and other opponents, he's, he's being challenged. Mm -hmm. But I think now instead of us going, man, we have to wrestle that guy, finally some people right. are saying, now we got to wrestle that guy from Ada. You know, and that helps build everybody that he's around. He's in Noah's group. He's in Dylan's group when we wrestle. So everybody in the group gets better. Yeah. Noah, at what point are you looking towards NWC when you start thinking about, you know, your matchups, your weight class? Or, or do you do that all season long, seeing who you'll see in the league? Uh, I'll say I kind of have that foresight to look okay. at conference and sectionals mm -hmm. that far ahead. But starting right now, I'm kind of just worrying about what's the next match going to be like. Yeah. Coach, yeah. do you wait for that focus till week of, week before uh, the league and then the sectional? Well, we don't want our only thoughts to be on who we're going to wrestle in the finals right. because we have to beat people to get to the finals. And with the way the weight system works, you don't know who's going to be in your weight right. class when you get That's there. That's very true. Yeah. You used to know in January who was going to be wrestling where, and now you don't. Uh, you know, Like I was saying before off camera, I've got a guy that can't make weight and wrestle even in the varsity lineup until we go to sectionals. Hmm. So nobody even knows who he is <laughs> So until we get there and have the opportunity to wrestle. So, right. yeah, we'd like to have an idea of who's, who's in what weight class. If we do need to move to benefit the team or the individual, I like to know that myself. Sure. But it's not something that we discuss every single day at practice, no. How does the team duel – come into all this, the state tournament for smaller programs, obviously tough to fill out the entire lineup card. What's your focus and, and, and your view on this state team dual tournament, the brackets just being unveiled this week? Well, in years past, last year when they first started it, mm -hmm. I saw it as, well, that's a free match. Right. Mm -hmm. We automatically right. know we're going to wrestle somebody. They're right. going to come with enough people to, you know, for our guys to be guaranteed a match or two, and it doesn't count against our points. Mm -hmm. So it's there. It's automatic. This year – we started out the year with some different goals. We don't want. We didn't want to have to drive to Coldwater. Was <laughs> right. goal number one. And that's we checked off. You're not going to Coldwater. <laughs> I said the way we're going to guarantee to not drive to Coldwater is to be seated, mm -hmm. and we ended up with the third seed. So, for our program this early on, I'm I'm proud of that. Yeah. And that was a goal. We don't know where we're going yet, but I know we're not going to cold water, so we're happy about that. <laughs> That's good. Wits Wrestling Roundup, we are here in Ada. When we come back, we'll talk with a couple more of the Bulldog wrestlers on WOSN. 
Round two here at the Ada Mat Room with the Bulldog wrestlers as they get ready for the Team Duel Tournament. And then, of course, Northwest Conference and sectional down the road. On the far end, it's Austin Wendell, the junior, and then next to him, Jared Woodland, another junior. Let's first talk about the Spartan Invitational. How did you feel uh, out there, Austin, getting to see some bigger schools as well as some Division three schools your size? Um, it, was, it was good competition, mm -hmm. but uh, me personally, I didn't feel like I showed up as well as I have previously this year I feel like I could could have gone, done better I, uh, but I still think I did well I mean still in the finals sure. so uh, talk a little bit about your match with uh, with Dylan Hartman from Corey Ross and how we were just talking off camera you know you're scoring all but you're saying you didn't feel like you showed up how, how was the match flowing did it just not flow for you um, through yeah you're going? I, I kept I had a, a lot of good shots and I just I didn't wasn't finishing any of them um, I knew he was a good wrestler. He's got good defense, so I knew I'd have to work my offense. But hard to get in and finish yeah. the move, where you're getting in and just yeah. not able to pull it off. Yeah. All right, Austin. How have you seen wrestling grow here today? Now you're a junior. You've been around it. You know, a young program. Do you feel like an old guy now? It's 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 grown with you, kind of. Yeah, it's a uh, it's kind of hard to believe I'm already a junior, but I mean, it was it's it's been fun. Like um, remember in like eighth grade, we were like third in the NWC, right. and then the past couple of years we've been, we're a young high school team. Now we're not, we're not so young anymore. So we're, uh, we're climbing, climbing back up to the top of the NWC. So it's, it's been fun seeing us grow. Are, you are one of the ones, there's a few of you in here. You're one of the ones that's been wrestling since Biddies, correct? Yes, sir. So talk a little bit about that. I mean, you've got to watch just being part of the Biddies to middle school to high school. What, what have you seen that's a little different in the, in the major growth of it? Um, I don't know, it's just, it's just, um, it's just interesting, like, going from, like, biddies, just the change from biddies to junior high is such a big change. I mean, I was good right. in biddies, and then junior high hit, it was a big level change, and then even junior high to high school, most junior high kids don't understand how big of a change that is from uh, competition levels, and it's just a big change, and I think it's fun. It's interesting. That's good, that's good. Yeah. Jared, how long have you been wrestling? Long he has. You've been For wrestling Bitties. Bitties too, so yeah. you've got to see the growth of it as well. Yeah. Have you seen anything different than what he has, or? No, it's just every time you go from Bitties to junior high, junior high to high school, it just there's a jump in competition because just people getting older, mm -hmm. and the skill levels of the people you're against increase every time. Right. Jared, how excited were you to see and to hear Ada was going to have a wrestling program? What was the excitement level like for guys like you that have been wrestling your whole life? It was pretty exciting knowing that it doesn't just stop after biddies. You can, you're, you can keep going and keep wrestling longer because it just buys you more time before you have to quit. If it's something you enjoy doing, keep doing it. Yeah, you don't want to quit. Yeah. What are you looking forward to the rest of the season, Jared? Do you have a, a certain tournament, certain matches that you're in, looking forward to? Um, just confidence. Mm -hmm. We want to want to do good as a team there, and then for individual, you want to go make the district, so sectional tournament, and then you want to place top four there to go district and sure. keep going from there. Sure. You get a you get a chance to go see some team Janet Same we were talking to Noah and Coach, so you, you're, you're getting ready to get going. To, are you getting ready to go get involved in the Sally George up there? Um, you're going to be seeing other teams, um, full teams, teams you haven't ever, guys you've never seen. How are you, you doing any different kind of approach to that, Noah, at all? I'm just doing the same thing I've been doing. I'm working hard this week in the room. I'm going to be working hard next week. Same thing throughout the whole rest of the season. Make sure I'm working my offense. So by the time it's match time, I'll have it down. So. What kind of goals are you looking for for the rest of the year? What are, what, what's your plans here? NWC champ, sectional champ, state qualifier. Kind of like that. Pretty good goals, yeah. I like the Not goals. too bad at all. Jared, what's been a highlight for you, you know, this year or maybe in the past couple of years here in high school wrestling? A favorite match, a favorite tournament? Um, probably last year at sectionals, my placement match to make it to districts. It was, it was a rough year because I was hurt most of the year. Yeah. And just have it, being able to bring it all together mm -hmm. it, at the end of the year when it mattered, make it a districts was nice. And then I just try to keep it rolling into this year yeah. and keep improving every week. Hey, the Bulldogs certainly doing that here on Wits Wrestling Roundup. We thank you for joining us. We'll have lots of coverage. You'll be at Van Buren this weekend. Always a big tournament as well, Jim. Yes, sir. I'll be at Van Buren this weekend. Uh, I get to take my mighty four. 
to Van Buren this weekend. So and, you're the 26th uh, team then. Yeah, I'm 25. Yeah, I'm the 26th team with four people. I'm down at the bottom. Um, you got a pretty we'll, good couple though. We'll be sitting down there. Tyler Sarista, mm-hmm. um, uh, returning 113 champ, four, uh, fourth place at state last year. He's going to uh, see what he can do in 120. I got a couple young dogs walking into the lineup at uh, 160 and uh, 182. And I got a big old athletic heavyweight, so we'll see what he can do. Big surprise. Wit's got all the big guys. In the yeah, imagine that. And they're the ones progressing faster. Sorry, guys. <laughs> we will have highlights from Van Buren for you both Friday and Saturday. On the Sports Report next week, Wit's Roundup goes to Delphus for the St. John's Blue Jays. For Jim Wittkamp and all the guys here at Ada, I'm Andy Lynch. We'll see you next time on Wit's Roundup.